Jessica barely made it back safe after the intense weather outside. Well, at least halfway safe. Apparently, I spoke too soon. Her boot got soaked in water. How did that even happen? Did you step in a lake or what? <laughs> so much for staying dry. It would be a shame to throw them away. Jess, is there any other way you could reuse them? Let's just hide a small jug of water inside the boots and fill it up with a handful of flowers. Add a playful bow tie and you'll have yourself a lovely welcoming vase by the door. Emily has had enough of Jacob's late nights ending up with him oversleeping. Oops, you went a bit overboard with that pillow, Jacob. And now the picture frame is in pieces. On the bright side, you just won an extra 20 minutes of sleep due to Emily's enthusiasm for crafts. Good boy, Jacob. Lay down a bowl upside down and get yourself a plastic glass. You'll need a thermal heater for this next step. Slowly start melting the edges of the plastic. The more wrinkles, the better. Once you've finished, lift up the plastic and flip it over. Give it a good wash and you'll be set with a fabulous glassy looking fruit bowl. Best part is it's light and fall friendly. Time to enjoy that breakfast, Jacob. Jess just came back home from the market and her dress decided to get caught up in the doorway. There goes another fashion favorite. Any chance you can salvage it for scraps? Like into something that would help you set up those newly bought pots. Lay down the dress and cut it out into vertical strips. You'll need six for this piece. Tie a knot on the very end, space it out, and separate the strips by two. Tie them together with a simple square knot. Next step, shuffle a bit and connect the strips together with the following strip. Depending on the pot, you might need to do this three or four times in total. And it doesn't have to be too perfect. Once you're done, just knot up the top. And you're ready to put in your pot. Set it up high so your plants will look like they're part of a fabulous floating garden. Well done, Jess! Madison took quite a while to set up her dominoes ride. And by the looks of it, she's about to break a wall. <laughs> it's funny how a small piece like that can damage something so much bigger, like a clock on a wall. Although we can't reverse time, I think we might not even need it in this case. Firstly, let's remove the actual mechanisms out of the broken clock. Search the house for an old, unused vinyl. You'll want to stick 12 domino pieces according to the number of dots. Insert the mechanisms through the back of the vinyl and connect the dedicated arrows. Now, just set up the clock and hang it on the wall. Perfect, Madison. You managed to create a truly vintage clock. <laughs> let's keep those dominoes moving, shall we? It looks like the girls are having a sleepless slumber party. From girl-powered selfies to horror movies, their night ended up with them passing out on the couch. Well, good morning, Emily. Not much of a morning routine when you're the only one eager to clean up. And your princess guests aren't planning to move an inch. It's just you and a bunch of paper cups, Emily. How come every PJ party ends up like this? But wait a minute, are you sure you want to throw them away that easily? Is there any other way you could reuse them? There you go! Let's start with the first cup. Add a dash of hot glue by the top and attach some wool to it. Spin the cup until you cover it up with a layer of colored wool. To keep it intact, add another dash of blue on the very end. Now, just slice a plus sign in the center and squeeze the light bulbs inside. Perfect, Emily. It looks lovely. Rise and shine, couch potatoes. Check out what we've been up to. These colorful cups sure spice up the atmosphere of the room. And it looks even better in the dark. Oh wow, that looks really mesmerizing. Emily starts her day with her favorite comic and a bowl of cereal. Too bad she just ran out of milk. You forgot to buy more, didn't you? Have you noticed it has a lovely bottle shape though? 
any chance that we could make a whimsical creation of our own out of it. <laughs> First, remove the label. Cut out a heart-shaped window and tiny door. You'll want to use PVA glue and paint it all over the bottle. It will help us to cover the bottle in sand. Take out your hot glue gun and use it to cover the doors with tiny pebble stones. Do the same with the window and the rest of the bottle. Continue using hot glue to stick various other sizes of pebbles. In addition, you want some legend to fill the gaps and add some greenery to the piece. Or even go an extra mile with a bird nest and a small figurine. Lastly, lay down a bit of moss inside and add a battery-based candle. Our birdhouse can be quite flammable, and this way will prevent any fire hazards. Perfect, Emily! You nailed it! That's a really cozy looking nightlight. Alright, it's time to go to sleep. Wow, that looks magical! Hey Crafty Pandas! I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Anna is about to leave the house. As per usual, her nephew has left Legos scattered everywhere. Well, as long as she doesn't step on them barefoot, we should be okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. Looks like Anna can't find her keys. I really hate how this always happens whenever I'm on the way out. As if the day wasn't going to be stressful enough. How did they even manage to get under there? Hmm, keys and Legos. It looks like Anna has a way to combine both of these items. Don't worry, we'll just need a couple of pieces. Attach two Lego tabs together to create the perfect heart-shaped keychain. This big flat Lego piece will make a great base for a funky door sign. We'll use the rectangular pieces to create some Lego font. Simply attach the Lego keychain to your board. Now let's see it all come together. Perfect, it looks fun on the wall. Anna won't lose her keys anymore with this fun, new, and creative keychain holder. Jess is going through some clothing ideas she found in various fashion magazines. Oops, so much for the newly set up cork board. It literally got shattered to pieces. Is all of it going into the trash? I think you just came up with a genius idea there, Jess. Lay down the cork board and use a utility knife to cut out a hexagon shape. Paint it, but make sure to use sticky tape for some cool outlines. The best part about hexagons is that they fit together perfectly, giving you a neat visual on the table while having your friends over for some tea. Madison is quite hungry, and her mighty fridge, surprisingly, still has a sandwich in there. Lucky her. One hour later, tomato, tomato, mm, why not? One more hour later, cauliflower. That's all you got, love? Hey, it's moldy. No, don't throw it away just yet. You can still use the other half, right? Or at least save the day with a cool hack. <laughs> First, grab yourself a plastic bowl. Fill it up with cement. Two thirds should do the trick. And add some water almost to the top. Find a spoon and give it a serious mix. This is where the cauliflower comes in. Flip it and neatly dip it into the bowl. Leave it overnight and then the next day, remove the vegetable. Flip the bowl and drop out the piece. At this point, you might want to sandpaper the base. Go ahead and give it a quick paint job. Perfect, you're done. What an affordable vase, thanks to the cauliflower detailing. Feel free to fill it up with all your drop-in accessories. <laughs> I see those crafts didn't kill your appetite, Madison. Sarah is playing with her dog in the park outside. Looks like our little guy bit through the tennis ball again. 
which is a common occurrence for any dog owner. Sarah came up with an idea on how to reuse these destroy balls. Turn the holes into a single opening by cutting out a line between them. Using super glue, attach some ear horn and leg shaped felt cutouts for a custom made tennis monster. Perfect, we're done. The ball can be repurposed as a leash hanger or a doggy bag holder. Let's just set this puppy up and get going. Sarah, don't forget those poop bags. Now, who will play with the tennis monsters? Hey, panda lovers! I hope you enjoyed these packs. Let us know which of them you're going to use next in the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.